tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own home store game for your Roblox clothing group using Roblox Studio without having to write a single line of code or build the whole thing yourself. Now in this video we're going to be going through how you can set up the mannequin rings so players can test out your outfit designs before they buy them so you can sell more of your Roblox clothing designs. Now before we get started you first need to download the project file that we're going to be using for this video it's in our discord server the invite link is in the description now once you have the project file open you should be able to find this mannequin rig as well as two of these buildings the first building should be the untextured version the other one should have the textures i'm going to be showing you how you can use both of these buildings in just a second the next thing we need to do is to enable a few game settings so players can buy the outfits directly in game to do that just go to file then game settings then security and enable these two settings and just hit save now let me show you how you can use this mannequin rig the first thing you need to do is to find the outfit you want to use i'm going to be using this outfit i made from a previous tutorial all we need to do is to copy the link of the shirt then select the dummy model on the explorer tab then click on the shirt icon and just paste the link under shirt template in the properties panel now the outfit should appear in the dummy model now here's the part you need to keep in mind so players can buy the outfit you need to copy the shirt id from the shirt link then select the shirt id icon and paste it under value on the properties panel now just repeat the same process for the pants but instead of choosing the shirt icon select the pants icon and instead of choosing the shirt id icon select the pants id icon if you want to sell more outfits using this rig just duplicate it by pressing Control or command d or just copy and pasting it and just repeat the same process to add a different outfit now if you want to test out the rigs it should work just hit the play icon up here so we can test out the game now if you go close you can press r to test out the clothes and you can press g and e to buy the outfits I'm going to show you how you can customize this building and make it your own. Let's first start with the layout. Now for this building, we designed this so you can, so you can fit at least 24 outfits or mannequins or two pages of your Roblox clothing designs from your clothing group. So if you're a moderately sized clothing group, this home store will be perfect for you. Now here's the basic layout. So here in the front entrance, you can have up to two to three mannequins and inside you can add up to four. And in the hallway, you can have up to eight mannequins. If you need more space, you can just put them outside. This building was designed to be more of an indoor outdoor type of thing. You can use the move tool to precisely move them wherever you like. Now let's go through how you can customize the texture. If you already like the textures we have for this building, you can pretty much leave it as is. But if you want to add your own texture, you can use the base version of this building, the one without texture. But for this tutorial, we're not going to be needing it, so we're just going to delete it. Now, let me show you how you can change the colors of certain parts of the building. Just select the part of the building you want to change by double clicking and go up here on material color and just change it from there. Now, if you want to learn how you can build your own custom map from scratch using Blender, then make sure you subscribe because we have a second part of this video coming out pretty soon.